gotta run away. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am doing a declutter. We are in a part of the house that I've probably never seen before, but this is like the front entryway and this is the coat closet slash the junk closet basically um when you open it you are greeted by some lights from amazon that are on the floor that we were supposed to return never did so i am just feeling like this whole section needs a redo i can go through it get rid of some of at least my old winter coats um also going to be organizing this front section of the house because if we look currently a mess um, this is, this is, this is uh, the reality. The reality is we're, we're a bit messy. Um, <laughs> yeah. And, you know, just as I said before, now that my boyfriend's moved in and there's just all of his stuff and you're combining two people's stuff, you really need like an organizational system and just like going through a lot of stuff. So, floors are squeaky. So if you hear squeaking, it's the floors. Hopefully once we get the new flooring in, that will be soft. First is the coats and to clear those out. Um, here's a great example of, I don't know what to do with it. This is my like graduation gown. I'm gonna assume I should put this in the closet upstairs. This doesn't go <laughs> here. Also, it's like, I don't really know what to do with this because I'm never going to wear this again. So that's kind of a situation of like, do I just like keep the cords and the pins and get rid of that oh so flattering black gown. This is my boyfriend's coat also going to keep, I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna get rid of any of his stuff. If I feel like, hey, he needs to get rid of something, I'll just ask him when he gets back. But I also sometimes wear this. This winter coat I am going to get rid of. I don't wear it anymore. I have a new one. So I'm just going to donate this. There is this leather coat that is, or just a leather jacket. That's the Kate Moss Topshop collab. Um, I think I've had this since high school. <laughs> Let me see, does it like even still fit me? I used to wear this like a lot. And now I really barely wear it. Oh, it still fits. So I'm gonna keep it, but it does belong in my upstairs closet because it's like to me more of a fashion jacket than like a jacket jacket if that makes sense so this coat is definitely like just a bit worn kind of see it's like pilling and stuff and the lining ripped because i'm just so jacked but it's a great just like fall blanket coat thing um Another leather jacket that I really, like I really don't wear this at all because I don't like how like rigid it is or it's a lot more boxier than the other one, but it's black. So I kind of feel like I should keep it because it's just like a good coat, but I like don't wear it at all. I've never worn this jacket. Um, surprise to my current boyfriend my ex-boyfriend's like grandma or aunt gave this to me and i've never worn it it still has the tags on it it's a really nice jacket it's just like not i don't think it's really anything that i would wear i'm also like is pamela mccoy someone like do we think i could sell this and like get something for it i don't know but i do think this will be the round that i do let it go okay this banana republic jacket might be too small when i wear really bulky things like this gets a little tight in here but this is fine this is like again a cute going out spring jacket um i actually just got word that we're like never going back into the office like it's kind of a permanent work from home situation so all these nice coats that i have i'm like i really will only wear them if i'm like going out to dinner or something which like i don't know i don't go out to like fancy restaurants that often but you never know so we will keep this pink coat that used to be my mom's that she gave me and now 
I have, again, just a cute little spring coat. And this is like one of my favorite coats. It's from Ann Taylor. I mean, it is gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. And then this one's from Target. Again, another gorgeous coat with little fur sleeves. We love that. This I bought to wear for my 25th birthday and I've never worn it again. So I think I might actually bring this upstairs and hang it in my closet because I think it'll be more like I'm making an outfit with this versus I'm just like throwing this on because it's cold out. You know what I mean? I have a drill kit which the um toolbox is just sitting out there i am going to keep the toolbox and this drill down here in this closet just because it's an easy access for us to have one we have tools downstairs in the basement and then also tools upstairs so it's just kind of like one on every floor this box houses my old verizon stuff that i never gave back they have not come to look for it so I'm just gonna like get rid of it. I have a basket of our like winter hats and gloves and scarves and it's usually just like sitting out but there's a lot in there and I'm kind of hoping that I can take that whole basket and just put it in here. This is my boyfriend's motorcycle helmet which we'll just keep in there. Here's the hood to that black leather jacket that I was actually looking for. I will hang this up. This is like my mom's like, I don't know, 1990s little jacket thing. I kind of like will wear this as like an outfit sometimes for like a Princess Diana off duty look. Then a box of picture hanging stuff, which would have been helpful to know before I bought a whole kit of it. This is why you go through things because you probably already have them in your house. These are the bulbs from Amazon that he bought and they weren't long enough. He was supposed to return them and never did. So since we have them, I just think we should just hang them up in the backyard. You know, more lights is always cute. So I'm going to bring these down into the basement just so it's like top of mind project this is my beach bag which i just keep in here so it's just easy to grab this is the battery pack so my stuck dad got this for me for christmas i think um or it was like a housewarming gift i kind of forget but it's literally a thing of batteries all different types and it's very heavy and let me tell you it has come in handy very handy it's actually really it's actually a really nice gift um you kind of look and you're like okay thank you and you're like wait do you ever have batteries Amelia? you know because you don't worry about that stuff but now i do now i always have batteries random receipts yeah so if you can see i have a shoe rack in here because i thought i would keep like my shoes in here but here's the thing i don't really love putting things away like if there's a door separating me from putting something away it probably won't happen and now that there's a boy living here um we kind of have the same issue so i bought a nicer shoe rack that our like everyday shoes go on so i'm actually going to take this out of here and put this in the guest bedroom closet so my boyfriend's like you know just fancier shoes or you know like these tims that he has um he can like put them in the closet instead of like them just sitting in here and like kind of taking up like precious floor space honestly okay so really we cleared everything out um didn't get rid of too much but now it's just kind of going to be like organizing it So I'm pretty much done with actually like putting together the closet and now I'm just working on like cleaning up the rest of the area. I'm kind of wondering if I should like shift the bench down and move all of this down but then I think it might be too crowded. 
but I'm going to try it just to see. Because the issue was with this shoe rack was that it's obviously like, I guess not obviously, but it's really supposed to go flush against a wall. Like it should go here. But we have the vent for the air conditioning there and I don't want to cover that. But just always kind of gets me that it's like not perfectly even. But anyway, let me, let me show you guys the closet. There it is. I mean, is it like peak organization? No. But from where we started, I mean, it's pretty good. All the coats now have their own hanger, so we actually know what coats we have. Um, and then here on the floor, taking out that shoe rack was like an ingenious idea. Um, that's all our winter stuff, and then obviously our winter boots sit here. Just other kind of like miscellaneous stuff that it's like we just want to grab and go. I totally forgot I broke this backpack this year. Um, or last year really, so I need a new one, which made me excited because I'm like, oh, I actually get to purchase something for a real reason. And then up here we have both helmets for my boyfriend, and then again the toolbox and just like picture hanging stuff, and hopefully it can stay this way. I mean, this is so nice because every time I would have to open this closet, like I literally would dread it because of just how insane it was. It was always a project that I was like, I gotta go through and just... I started upstairs with the closets and now we're just working our way through every single floor, really trying to just go through everything. Let's just try to move this down really fast. I move this to the edge of the window. Okay. Ooh, could I flip this and it would actually fit? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. What are we thinking? Like if we're in the living room, do we think this looks weird because the shoe rack hangs over a little bit and obviously the bench isn't centered. Like ideally, right, both would either fit under the window, the window would be bigger, we'd have a large coat, right? There'd be like a lot of ideal situations. What do you think, Tank? What are we thinking? I actually, I actually like it like this now that I'm like looking at it from this perspective. It just looks longer and not as crowded. And once we get those beautiful wood floors in here, I think it'll look a lot sleeker. So yeah, I'm going to put some finishing touches on things and then we can look at it. There's a guy is coming around and soliciting. And one, I don't like talking to strangers. Two, I don't open the door for people I don't know. But as you just saw, I was cleaning the windows and literally, like it is the front window. I mean, I'm right there. So I am, I'm hiding. Um, it's very awkward. Cause I mean, the blinds are open and I'm just awkwardly hiding in the stairway to the basement. And now my phone's ringing. What is going on? Okay, he's gone. My boyfriend called to ask if I wanted anything from Duncan, which was very sweet. The answer, yes, there's a dryer going on in the background. I've had this much cold brew, which isn't even half, and I'm, when he comes home, we're going to Lowe's, ordering, ordering. It's sunny, cold brew, gonna drink a matcha. We're getting it done today. All right, final reveal time, even though I feel like you've kind of already seen. Here's the entryway. My boyfriend got back and he said he liked this a lot better, so we're gonna keep it. Yeah, I just think it looks a lot nicer, opens this up a bit more. And then this is the closet. Again, every coat has its own hanger now. There's room to put our winter stuff down there. 
that pretty much wraps it up. I'm very hyped up on cold brew, as I said before. Tank has fuzz hanging out of his mouth, which I just noticed. How long has that been there? Who knows? So I hope you guys enjoyed this little declutter, the first part of spring cleaning 2022. My next few declutters will definitely be a skincare declutter because you guys really like the makeup one. So skincare is coming. And then like doing the outside of the house. It will pretty much just be the backyard for safety reasons. You feel me? Oh, and possibly the floor renovation whenever the flooring comes in. Okay. Thank you again so much. Also, March has been like a crazy month on my channel. So thank you guys so much for the support. It's like so crazy to see that. And just thanks to you guys. So thank you again. Appreciate you all. And I'll see you in the right next one. Bye.